Ladies and gentlemen, I am the inquiring cameraman. All day I travel around California, the highways and the byways, the downtown districts, the residence districts, the factory districts, all districts. I stop people on the street. I pry into offices and shops and stores and restaurants. I knock on the doors of homes, all for the purpose of digging out voters of California to express their views for your edification. Remember, they're not actors, they're nervous. You'd be scared to death yourself the first time you face the camera and microphone. If they seem awkward, bear with them. I don't rehearse them, I'm impartial. I ask them questions only to help them express themselves more clearly. I thank you. Now for the votes. Votes from carpenters, housewives, jobless men, butchers, bakers, and candlestick makers. There's even a crooner hidden in the group, but you'll have to find him out for yourself. All ready for the votes? Would you mind telling us uh, who your favorite candidate is for governor? Sinclair. And uh, what is your principal reason for arriving at that? Well, it puts a different man with different principles and everything like that into office, see, and it gets away from the old line. Well, uh, have you made a, a study of his plan? Yes, uh, I've studied a little bit. Some of them are rather radical, but I think they'll be modified when he gets into office. I see. Well, now, listen. Do you really believe that he can uh, <clears throat> end poverty in California? Well, no, I don't think so, but... Uh, well, I don't know what to say about that. Now, Mr. Work, you've made up your mind uh, who you're going to vote for next month, the Governor? Yes, sir. Do you mind telling us who? I'm going to vote for Miriam, because I want a job. I need to drive all the capital out of the country. Who's going to pay us? And uh, you think, then, that uh, Miriam would be the safest for us all? Absolutely. There's no time to trade horses in the middle of the stream. Thank you very much, Mr. Work. Now, Mr. Butler, are you going to vote in the coming election? Yes, I certainly am. Uh, this old you... Wish to vote for Mr. Butler? I'm sure that I'm going to vote for Mr. Sinclair. You must have a good reason for voting for Mr. Sinclair? Well, Mr. Sinclair have something new, that new epic plan. I think it's time that we should try something new out again. And you think they have to find a work? I don't know, but I'm willing to take a chance on it. Now, Mr. Skinner, uh, just who are you going to vote for? I'm going to vote for Marion, because yeah. I need prosperity. Uh, I've selected that from St. Clair. And uh, you probably have some good reason for having selected him. Will you tell us that? Well, for the first reason, uh, we need a complete uh, rejuvenation of our uh, uh, governmental system. And that's the main reason. Yes, sir, I do. I think Mr. Merriman is the man, the better man for the, for the governorship than either Mr. Hayter or Mr. Sinclair. I see. On well, what do you base that, Mr. Poole? Any particular... Uh, <coughs> Well, I don't believe that, that uh, due to Mr. Sinclair's socialistic ideas that he should be our governor. And I don't know uh, uh, anything about Mr. Haight. Would you mind telling us who, who you selected? Governor Merriam. And uh, your outstanding reason for having selected him? Well, I think it'll be a pity to put a man in as much of a theorist as uh, the other candidate, an untried person in the ways of government. You believe, then, that Mr. Merriam would keep the boat from rocking? I do. And is it safer for you and your family and all? Very much so. Thank you very much. Mr. Duncan, yes. would you mind uh, telling us how you intend to vote for governor next month? Aye, sure. I'm going to vote for Upton St. Clair. I see. Now and I please? will sell it to the house top. I'm going to uh, vote for Frank Merriam for governor uh, for the reason that... Uh, he is for democracy rather than socialism. And uh, uh, he won't evolve us in any dangerous experiment. Thank you very much, Mr. Johnson. Well, Mr. Duffy, what's your opinion on this thing? Why, uh, being what? in the real estate business, I believe Miriam to be the ideal man, and I'd like to stay in the real estate business. And if Mr. Sinclair gets in, I'm afraid there'll be no real estate business. Now, Mr. Schroeder, no doubt you are going to vote for governor next month. Would you mind telling us your choice? I have Umpton Sinclair in mind, but his, his plans are so far ahead of the times that I am doubtful as to whether it would be right for me to vote that way. Uh, would you mind telling us your choice? Mr. Haight. I see. Now, what uh, is your principal idea for having to come to this decision? I think he has the best judgment of the three. You see, you've, uh, you followed his, uh, his uh, plans and what he has in mind carefully, yes, have you? Well, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Well, uh, what are the outstanding reasons for your selecting him? Oh, I've never been very excited about elections before, but 
Sinclair's attitude towards so many of our institutions that I consider sacred I don't quite agree with mine. So I've decided to use all the influence I have to put Governor Merriman back in office. Thank you, Miss Bryant. Ladies and gentlemen, the inquiring cameraman. And we're going to give ourselves a little pat on the back. Our first issue seems to have aroused all California. We've had lots of comments and suggestions, and we found out that some of the politicians don't like our idea at all. They seem to want you to hear only what they have to say. But we still think you're interested in how the man on the street is actually going to vote. We let him say anything he wants, we encourage him to talk freely, and we're trying to be as nonpartisan as possible. Now for the voters. I've decided to vote for the present Governor Mary. And as much as this is my first vote, it means quite a bit to me, and I've given it a good deal of thought and consideration. And I just graduated from school last year, and Sinclair says that our school system is rotten, and I know that this isn't true, and I've been able to find a good position during this depression, and I'd, I'd like to be able to keep it. Mrs. Ashley, will you tell us who you're going to vote for for governor, please? I'm going to vote for Upton Sinclair. Will you tell us a few of your reasons why? Well, in the first place, I think he is a splendid, conscientious, capable man and has a program that he can do something for the people that are in distress now. <coughs> I, uh, I was born and reared a uh, Democrat, but uh, years later, I became a Republican and uh, then a Socialist. And uh, so, but when Mr. Sinclair declared himself candidate for governor of California, we went in to uh, help in that movement. Yes, I've decided to vote for the present governor, Frank Merriam. Would you give us a reason why? Yes, I will. In the first place, I don't think Mr. Merriam has been given an opportunity to prove what he can do for our state. In the second place, I don't wish to see Upton Sinclair elected governor. I personally have a position that I value. I've worked hard. It's a small firm, it's an independent firm. I don't wish the businessman, my employer, to be forced to do things he doesn't like and in turn force them upon us. And instead of being somebody in the firm, we'll just be individuals probably with a number. I don't wish to go to work every day, just to work for food, for necessities of life, and that's all that's in it. I have other ambitions. I want to work hard. I'm looking forward to a future, a happy future. One which I personally can make for myself without being told what to do by other people. My choice for governor is Mr. Haight. Will you tell us why? Uh, I want Mr. Haight in the governor's chair because Mr. Haight is progressive. Mr. Haight is young. He has uh, new ideas. And I don't want Mr. Sinclair in the governor's chair. I have a little business here that I've worked many years to build up. Hard, day and night. And I don't want the state to come in and take it away. I'm going to vote for Upton St. Clair. <laughs> Will you tell us why? Upton St. Clair is the author of the Russian government, and it's worked out very well there, and I think it should do here. Thank you. I'm going to vote for Mr. Haight. Will you give us a few reasons why? Uh, one of the reasons why I'm voting for Mr. Haight is because I'm not going to vote for Mr. St. Clair because he's a little too radical. Now, Mr. Merriam hasn't done a thing for us fellows who are out on the tramp. We can't help because we're on the tramp, and I'm going to vote for Mr. Haight because he's evidently in the middle ground. Oh, thanks. Governor Merriam, have you any reasons why? Yes. I, uh, I feel that Sinclair is too radical. I'm, an Amer I'm born and raised in America. I feel that Mr. Merriam is the only man in the field today that can beat Sinclair. You may ask me questions, sir. I will ask them. Mr. Branson, have you decided who you're going to vote for? Yes, sir, for Upton Sinclair. Have you any reasons why? Why, because I believe he's the best man for the job. I've always been a socialist, and I believe he will do the best for the people, for the working, especially for the working people, and even for the rich. Thank you. First of all, I am American, and I believe Mr. Marion will support all the principles America has stood for in the past 150 years. I have a job now, and uh, I want to keep it. I get paid in money and not script. I am a married man, 
My wife and I love California, and we'd like to stay here. In case we should leave, why, I would like to at least have a couple dollars and not script. Yes, I'm going to vote for Mr. Upton Sinclair. Would you uh, tell us a few reasons why, please? Because I believe in his policies. I've come from New York, and everything has gone very badly since I've been out here. And I've heard his talks over the radio, and I believe that he will give us a good deal. All right, now, Mr. Gilgan, have you decided who you're going to vote for, for yes, Governor? Yes, sir. Who? Mr. Sinclair. Dr. Griffith, have you decided who you're going to vote for? Raymond L. Haight. All right. Well, have you gentlemen any reasons? My reason for voting for Mr. Sinclair is, first of all, our, gover our Democratic Party is staying with him. I am a Democrat, and I do not want to change my politics. I believe that the Republican Party so far has been a failure in the last 10 or 12 years. Have you anything to say to that, Dr. Griffith? You're wrong because the Democratic Party is not with Sinclair, because the Democratic Party is not raising funds for Sinclair's election. The, the money raised in different states is independent of the, of the Democratic Party, and you know that. Shall I say some more? <laughs> Sinclair, <coughs> Sinclair interviewed our... <laughs> Sinclair, Sinclair has interviewed our president of the United States yes. and has got a great reception. And when he, got, when he went to see him, he told him not to discuss politics because he knew that he would be put on the spot by Sinclair. And that's the ultimate object of Mr. Sinclair, is to put Mr. Roosevelt on the spot by the election of government. There's no right. such a thing as putting a man on the spot. That's the, that's the thoughts of your own mind. We're on the spot now. No, you're not. You're <laughs> wrong, Dr. Griffith. I disagree with you on that. I disagree with you. All right, proceed. I wish Senator McAdoo was also with Sinclair. Senator McAdoo has billboarded the whole town and said that the epic plan is a failure. That's the words of Senator McAdoo. Where, where did you get that or when? On Central Avenue billboard, I've seen it this morning. You can see it for yourself. I think that's a mistake, Doctor. I think that's a mistake. I think that's a mistake. And by the way, lots of you don't know that it doesn't matter how you're registered, Republican or Democrat, you can cast your vote on November 6th for any man or any party you want to. 